Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So yeah, Bitcoin has come close to my target of around 23k in this move down in the wave two. And we're going to zoom in in a minute and take a look. Overall, just a reminder here of the overall wave count since the low at 17,600. So first of all, to start with, I'm still carefully bullish here on Bitcoin, carefully bullish. With a 60% probability, I would say that we have already seen the low at 17,600. However, we also need to be very, very careful here. It is still very, very early days in a possible trend change to the upside. <clears throat> so overall, what we have seen since the low, we have counted an impulsive wave up, a wave one and a wave two down. We would expect now to be in a wave three, which would normally be the most bullish wave. In this wave three, we of course have sub waves. So we have here a wave one to the upside and a wave two down. That is the second one, two setup. No, the, way, the second one, two setup is here, one second. Yeah, this is the uh, one, two setup number two. And then also here we would expect to be in a wave three and then we have a third one, two setup, which is here. Yeah, and also here we would expect now to be in a wave three. So. Basically, you would expect to be in a wave three of a wave three of a wave three, normally a very bullish setup, where if it now starts to move, it should really reach much higher price levels of 30K and above. Um, but of course, for that, it needs to play out and the bulls need to break certain resistance levels, like for example, the previous wave one high, which was here at around $25,180. Yeah, or 25,200 up here. Um, is it possible still to make a lower low? Yes, of course. That's why I give it a 40% probability. This will change <clears throat> as we see more evidence in the bullish Elliott wave patterns. Of course, at the moment, because we are so early in a possible uptrend, there isn't enough evidence there. We can make some assumptions, um, but um, we can't be sure, of course. Yeah. So let's zoom in. And this is the primary expectation at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's currently working out nicely. Yeah. So in the previous videos, we talked about up here about this upcoming wave two correction. We, I gave you two car target areas. One was the area for the wave B. One was the area for the wave C. So basically down here we came, we counted five waves. I told you we are probably now as we can count five waves as complete in a wave A that we are probably going to see a three wave retracement in a wave B into this area here between 24,350 and uh, 24,690 or something. <clears throat> so as you can see, we came directly into that area. In fact, even the main target within the area got triggered perfectly. Um, and we then came down in a wave C as expected, a very strong sell off. Um, here with this engulfing red candle and yesterday we were still waiting for five waves to be counted told you here Oops, I told you here in my last video <coughs> Sorry that this year was probably only a wave four Because we could not yet count five waves as complete and that we will see probably one more leg down Ideal target for that would have been 22,980 That was one of the ideal targets, but really anywhere here you would expect the reversal at some point. Um, now you can see we made one lower low, perfect. Yeah, we hit it, and uh, that con, con, you know, that is sufficient to see it as a wave five retracement. So at the moment, we can carefully assume that the low might be in, even though there is no evidence for that. So what happens? We can count now five waves as complete, but now we need to see confirming price action. It missed this target here by around. Yeah, hundred and sixty dollars or something. Yeah, so five waves complete. It could be that we're now starting to move up. A few points that will make this more likely and that will confirm this. First point is that we break out of this range again, and that would be a move above twenty three thousand four hundred and eighty. So we need to move above it and hold it. So we might do that as we speak. Next, we need to break above the wave four high that is at 23,640. That's a key level. And I'm going to move this relevant, this dotted line to that level. Next level. 
So already this will give some comfort that we are moving up. The next level will be the wave B high at 24,460. And if we get above that level, there's pretty much only one main level left. And that is here the $25,200 yep, level. If we break above that level, then we can be quite confident that the wave two was in. And each of these levels will give more con um, confidence. There's never absolute certainty, but each of these levels will increase the probabilities that the low in the wave two was in. And then we would have reversed very nicely here. We would have reversed very nicely here. And we would then move up in a wave three with um, yeah those resistance levels that I just mentioned. And that's pretty much the update I can give you now. So uh, I'll keep you updated throughout the day. Keep an eye on that. It could be that the low is now in. However, bear in mind, we have not reached yet the 22,980 level. And if we lose the previous swing low here of the wave five, and let me just show you that level again, that was here at 23,170. If we lose that level, it would indicate that wave five wasn't in yet. And then we have the, as the next key levels, the 22,980 level. And below that, a key level would be the 50-day moving average at 22,160. Okay, and that's my update about Bitcoin. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.